All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. I've got an update for you guys on the MetaZoo printer situation. So if you watched yesterday's video, in yesterday's video I got an email from a representative of Bayaya Board Game Company based out of China, which if you guys don't know, was MetaZoo's printer. Now, that email, they sent me a list of inventory that they had of MetaZoo, and they were soliciting buyers to buy that MetaZoo product. Now, I followed up with them multiple times about pricing, and I got a ton of messages last night from them on both Alibaba and my email address. So, basically, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they got in trouble or they got, you know, whatever. But they want to make it clear that now it's just a misunderstanding. And I guess that email was an accident. And they do not sell any of their MetaZoo product. They cannot sell any of their MetaZoo product. And they have not sold any of their MetaZoo product. And they insist that they are true to their copyright with MetaZoo and not you know, going behind anybody's back and selling it. But that being said, they did ask me multiple times to remove my video from yesterday, but I'm not going to do that because they did send me those emails. That is the inventory they sent me. And they were at the time seeming to try to sell it. That's, I mean, that's what the whole point of the email was, but I was in touch with several different people from by Yaya last night. And they are adamant now that they are not selling any MetaZoo can't, won't, have not, and I'm going to show you guys some of those messages from that interaction. So this was mostly me. This was after I posted my video too, so I don't know, like I said, if they got in trouble or what, but apparently they do not have permission from the trustee and they cannot sell the MetaZoo product that they have. So I want to make that clear. Um, and I know that a lot of you guys, they said this in their message. <laughs> they said that a lot of you guys were hitting them up and messaging them and emailing them trying to buy the product. And so I had to blur the email address on the last video uh, because I guess too many people were emailing her trying to buy MetaZoo. So I think they got freaked out. They got spooked. Um, but I'll read you guys some of those messages here. So this was me. This was the first one. This was me following up. This was on Alibaba, so not email. And I followed up about the pricing. And she says, a couple hours later, she responds and says, Hi, Nick, I'm sorry. Due to internal reasons, we can't sell the stock for the time being. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I say, okay, thank you. She says, my pleasure. And then she transfers me to somebody else named Nikita. Now, Nikita is the one that's adamant that I remove my video, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then I also got an email from the girl that I had been in contact with prior. So they sent this to me on Alibaba and then they sent me an email right after that Alibaba message. And this is on the same thread of them talking about selling MetaZoo product. And she says, hi, Nick, I'm sorry. That is a misunderstanding. We cannot sell MetaZoo products. Thank you. And then I start getting messages from this uh, Nikita person. This is one of the emails that Nikita sent me. He says, hi, Nick, or he or she. This is Nikita from Bayaya Board Game Company. We talked on Alibaba 10 hours ago. Here, we ask you to remove the Bayaya email you announced, and that's not true that we sell MetaZoo product. Please stop announce by Yaya sells MetaZoo product and publish a video clarifying that we will not and have not sold any MetaZoo product. We didn't never sell any MetaZoo product. We keep our copyright. Thank you. So again, to be clear, they did send me the email trying to sell MetaZoo product with a list of MetaZoo inventory. That is true. That is from them. That happened, which is why I'm not deleting that video. But they are saying now, we have not, will not, and just flat out won't refuse to sell MetaZoo products. So that's what they're saying now. So I do want to clarify that, but they did try. So I'm not going to. So Nikita also messaged me on, uh, on Alibaba and they said, hi, Nick. I said, hello. This is a misapprehend. We don't sell MetaZoo product at all. Please ignore this. Then they continued, hi, Nick, could you please issue a claim for us? We don't sell MetaZoo product at all. So if it's not clear at this point, they don't sell MetaZoo product at all. And then I wanted to show you guys also, um, when I was checking my Alibaba account, I saw another message from Bayaya before. So this was from before I saw the email they sent me. So this was from them on Alibaba. And this is them just reaching out to me randomly. Hi, Nick. Good day. May we know, do you still want purchase of MetaZoo products? 
These are the products in stock we have. Fan art not launched in the market yet. If you're interested, please let me know. And they send the same uh, screenshot there of the inventory on Alibaba. And then she also transferred me to Nikita. I'm assuming that Nikita is some kind of head honcho over there, probably their manager or whatever. And it sounds like they weren't supposed to be doing this according to him or her. So again, apparently they're not selling Metazoo, but it is true that they sent me that email. Um, so don't reach out to them. Don't contact them. Don't try to buy Metazoo because very clearly they are not selling it. They want to make that very clear. So Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing um, in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Nick Strength and Pokemon, signing out.